All right, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am gonna be showing you how I converted my Baby Hawk um, R three inch and added the Run Cam Split Mini version two. Um, there have been there there are a few videos on YouTube that kind of show how to do it, but it wasn't easy and they weren't really helpful. And a lot of the videos were just footage of what it looked like. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you and also provide you um, links to where I got it and which parts I got and all that. So to start off with, um, as you see right there, see those little spacers right there? So those are 10 millimeter by 5 millimeter spacers. They're the M3 size and they're non-threaded. And I got those from Race Day, no, from GetFPV.com. So I got those from GetFPV. I got a pack of them. There's 10 of them, but you're going to need five of them for the Baby Hawk 3. So you'll need two on the back right there. One, two. And then you'll need three up front. So you need one, two, and there's one in the middle on the back. So um, I'm just going to take it apart. And also you're gonna need you're gonna need five. So you're gonna need one, two, three, and then also in the back, four, five right there. So you'll need five 20 millimeter M2 screws, and then you will need the five 10 millimeter by five millimeter spacers. So these are 10 millimeter tall. And I'll provide links and all that and show you pictures so there's no trouble in finding what which ones it is. Um, I'm just going to take this battery off. I will have flight footage at the end of the video as well. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and just take this off. So I took that off. So we'll just take that off. All right. So right there. So as you see, I got my run cam. Let's see if it will focus. Yep. I got my run cam on the top. That's actually my receiver. I use a spectrum receiver, but the run cam split is right there. So that's the SD card that goes in there. So what I did was that <clears throat> the um, run cam split. Let me see if I can angle this. I'm gonna put it on a little box or something. All right. I'll just hold it with one hand. So the run cam comes with those black focus it comes with those bronze or brass whatever they are they're a little uh let me see if i can just get you the adapter real quick all right so the run cam let's focus the run cam comes with a bunch of those and it comes with like five or six of these little things so i used one, two, three, four, five of these things. So, as you see right there, I have one. They're in the. They're right in between the uh, VTX and the Runcam split board. So you see those two bronze in the middle right there. Or the brass. Those are these things. Those are these tall things right there. So I used one, two on this side. And then on this side, because there's one that's short, so you see on that left-hand side, the left of the capacitor, how there's two of them stacked on top of each other. That's because there's only a little screw that was there, and it had a little nut. It didn't have uh, like a plastic piece like a plastic standoff like you see on the right hand side right there I don't know if you can see it so on that right side you can see that plastic black plastic standoff right underneath the brass one so that left side doesn't have that so on that left side I had to use two of those and I just stacked them on top of each other and they came out to be the exact same height as the rest of them so I used five of those five of these pieces like i mentioned so i used one two on that side i used one there so that's three and then i used two on that side so that makes it four or five 
And then for the top of it, Baby Hawk comes without the without the split mini. The Baby Hawk Baby Hawk comes with these plastic or nylon um, like little screw things, these little bolt things. So those won't work on the top right there. So you have to use these right here. You have to use four of those because. Once you add that metal piece, as you see that metal piece holding the SD card in. See that? Wait. See that metal piece holding the SD card? Once you add that to the top of the split cam mini, or split mini, you won't be able to get those, uh, those plastic uh, bolts or washers or screws, whatever, those nuts, nuts. You won't be able to get those nuts on, so you have to use these because these will be the perfect size to get it to strap down or tighten down on top. And then, so let me run that over again. So you gotta use five of these and four of these. Five of these and four of these. Because these four go on the top right there. One, two, three, four. And then these five, five of these go right in between the VTX and the split mini board. Okay? And at that side I had to double them up. See that? I had to double those. And there's one right there. So that's it for that. And then another YouTuber mentioned that you could just use this. This was a connector that came from the VTX and it plugged in to the Fox ear. So, let me show you. So this was the connector that came from the VTX to the Fox ear. So this part right here, whoop, get that off there so I don't lose it. So this part right here plugged into the Fox ear camera and this was just dangling around. It, had, it didn't do anything. So, run cam, came with a cable like this. So this end was just like that, and then I had another end, and the other end actually plugged into, let me see if I could zoom in. So the other end plugs in right there. Can you see that, where it plugged in right there? So that's going into the split mini board. So that's the end that I cut off of this. So what you're gonna have to do is when you unplug your Fox ear camera that comes with the Baby Hawk, you're gonna snip off this part of the wires and then you're gonna take that run cam cable that comes with the run cam and you're gonna snip it off in half and then you're just gonna solder those two parts together and then you're gonna plug the end into the split mini board right there. So that's how you connect it, because it's not just plug and play, you're gonna have to cut the wires unless you can find an adapter. And then also, because the run cam, because the run cam is kinda big, the split mini run cam, is kinda big, it actually doesn't fit in this camera mount. So what I did was I just uh, used a soldering iron and I melted that part of the motor, or part of the camera mount. So the front part, I'm, it has like a little bird's beak kind of thing. So I just melted it all the way across and then I just filed it down with a file. I mean, I smoothed it out, whatever. And now this actually fits. The camera angle is still pretty low. Um, it's kind of straight on, so I'm gonna have to tilt it up more, but it does fit and it does work. So yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, and again, I'll leave links or I'll show pictures of where you can get this stuff. So I got the Swift Mini version 2, or the Split Mini version 2 from GetFPV. I got these 20 millimeter, let me see. I got these 20 millimeter, these are 20 millimeter long, um, M2 screws. I got those from uh, I got those from eBay. So I got these from eBay. Came in a pack of 20. These are 20 millimeter long M2 
I got these standoffs from uh, Get FPV as well. These are the 10 millimeter standoff M3 style non threaded. So this is from Get FPV. The run cam was from Get FPV. And then these M2 20 millimeter screws were from uh, eBay. So that's all you'll need. You'll need five of these M2 screws, 20 millimeters long. You'll need five of these 10 millimeter long standoff M3 style non-threaded. And you'll need one run cam split mini version two. And that's pretty much it. That's how I did it. So yeah, now I'll just drop the footage in of what it looked like and Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, this was a little tougher than I expected because, like I said, other YouTube videos weren't actually explaining how they did anything. And they were actually off on their measurements. And they were using the 2-inch version of the Baby Hawk. And they were using version 1 of the Runcam Split Mini. So... Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and enjoy the flight footage.